Hi everyone, uh, Steve Brown from Swansea Business Marketing and this afternoon we're talking to Dean from DG Heath Timber down in uh, Ponadilla. So first of all, good afternoon Dean. Hi Steve, how's it going? You okay? All right, thank you. So Dean, the reason I want to talk to you today, it was just something that came up in conversation the other day when people were talking about skirting and architrave, especially when people are looking for what I call the quality end products like oak. So, and I know you do the oak products. In fact, if you bear with me a sec, let me just share my screen with people so they can see exactly what we're talking about here today. So, we've got these um, the oak skirt and the oak architrave. So, the first thing I'd ask you is this solid or is it veneered? What sort of are you doing down there? A solid oak, Steve, that is. A solid oak. Yeah, yeah, solid sanded oak. I mean, the profiles you can see there are chamfered and torus molding. Right. There are two most, you know, popular sellers, really. Um, and what, what sort of size? I know, I know it's very, you know, it's difficult for people to tell from the picture. So what sort of size is, you know, and can we talk traditional for me, you know, two, two inch and three inch and all that, so I know. What sort of size and widths do you come in? Well, you've got a six inch, which is the top one. That's, that's, not, that's obviously used as a skirting board. You've got a right. five inch just below it. You've got a four inch just below it, which can be used as a skirting or an architrave for around the doors. Or you've got a three right. inch, which is predominantly used for an architrave. Right. That's in the chamfered finish. In the torus finish, we do a seven inch, which is the top one. Yeah. We do a five inch then, which is a skirting as well. And then we do a three inch predominantly used for architrave again. Right. So let me just put you back on screen a second, Dean. So I've got a couple of questions here. So when the, the thing is, when people are doing uh, using oak like that, normally a lot of the time they've already got the oak down on the floor. You know, they bought oak flooring, solid wood flooring or something like that. So how do they go about matching it up? Because the last thing I'd want to do is buy some oak skirt and then when I put it down, it's a total mismatch on colours. What happens there? How do they get around that problem? That's a good question, Steve. But usually what we do is people come down, because we do a lot of oak, we sell a lot of oak flooring as well. People come down here, yeah, they look at the floors, and I tell them, look, once you pick the floor, you know, we'll have a look at the colour. We'll have something here then which you can put on the unfinished oak right. to get as close a match as possible. Right. And that's basically so they, can, so they can match it up then, can they? Yeah, they can match it up, you know. I mean, oak is oak at the end of the day, but it is important what finish you put on it because yes. the last thing you want is a nice oiled, rustic-looking oak floor and then a, a shiny a shiny lacquered skirt in, you know. It's like it just doesn't look right. So we look at the floor and then we give you the right, basically the right treatments to suit that floor then. Good. So my last question then would be, what sort of lengths do these come in? Because obviously, if I could... I prefer to do one long run on the long walls, etc. So what sort of lengths do these come in? Usually from about three meters up to about 4.5 meters. We tend to sell it in the running meter and give people a mix. Obviously we can't give the people all the long lengths, but yeah. we try and get them as long as possible. When we buy the stock, we make sure it's as long as we possibly can get it really. Okay. So, and you carry this in stock. So if somebody comes down, uh, to your premises, you've got this in stock or you can get it delivered? Yeah, we have, along with all your door linings and all your other products, really, that you need to accompany it. Right. Okay, well, Dean, I want to thank you. I know you're a busy man. I want to thank you for joining me this afternoon, and uh, I hope everybody joins you in the next video when we talk about some of the other products that you sell. Thanks, Steve. Cheers. You're welcome. Bye.